Now this next one is useful for your um, assignment. Obviously all of them are. What I want to do is just, I, you can use any of these parks layers. That's one I've created. I'm going to show you how I created it right now. You can use Brisbane parks or you can use Gold Coast parks or you can use recre SEQ recreation areas. But what I want to do is I want to just get recreation areas for um, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. So I'm going to open the attribute table. Obviously, you can do that by select by attributes, but I've just done it by this way. Then I'm going to select by location. I want to select features from SEQ Recreation that inter intersect with SEQ LGO. Click selected features and are within the source layer feature. Go OK. Then what you do there is you right click on it, go data, export data. And look how you see selected features. Click to your layers for students. You can do it as a shape file or you can do it as a database feature. So double click on it and call it something like BC GC Recreation Areas. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. Anyway, then you go save and it'll do that. It's quite quick. And it'll ask, do you want to add it to a layer? And you'll say yes. And then it'll come up like I'm just going to take this one off. This was the one I created. Uh, deselect. So there it is there. What I also need to do is I want to intersect the two layers so that the recreation area is linked with the SA2 number so we can choose the specific parks within the SA2. So we're going to go to Geoprocessing Intersect. We're going to pop in the SA2 and we're going to pop in the BCGC recreation areas. Alternatively, as I said, you could use Brisbane or Gold Coast Parks. It always goes to the default database. You can actually make this your default database. I'll show you how to do it afterwards. Save it as our uh, recreation SA2 because what we want is we want the SA2 number for the recreation. There's lots and lots of different ways of doing this, but this is an easy way of doing it. And let's go OK. And it will say intersect, intersect. It shouldn't take that long if it worked. And it didn't work. But let's pretend it worked because I've got to shut GIS and start it again. For some reason my um, ArcGIS has been temperamental today. I think it's because I'm not running it through the VPN. I'm running it on airport mode. What has happened is now, so now we have <coughs> our intersection layer. I'm going to put it under parks. And if I open the attribute table, there's a lot of stuff you don't need. You can get rid of that. There's the SA2 name something you don't need feature type type so there's things there that you don't necessarily need but I will just leave them for the moment because it's not a big data set and what we want to do there is we want to export that but let's just double check first before we do any exporting we're not gonna well I'll show you in the next thing how to export tables we're going to open no we don't want to do that we want to select select by attributes open up that new that one we've just created let's have a look at our SA2 I'm just double checking so what I'm doing is uh, let's look at Ashmore we're going to Ashmore and I want to see that features in Ashmore so it's selected all parks in Ashmore let's just pop the SA2 oops we might just make the outline no color make change the outline to line into dark blue or something and Hmm. Maybe make the outline a color that we can see better. Bread. <laughs> so you can see it has now selected all the parks in um, Ashmore. This is what you're going to have to do for your assignment. And I'll go, start again from the beginning in the next one. But that's just to, just to show you how to get the, the right ones and to intersect the two layers.